Welcome, Welcome back. back! Today we're going to be making mealworm pancakes. Because we reached our super high light goal, we've decided to bake the other recipe in the bug subscription box. Just as promised. So this is our second recipe from the bug meal kit box. Um, which is, yeah, Fluffalo Buffalo Worm Pancakes. Fluffalo? <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy Buffalo Worm Pancakes. Yeah. It looks just like a normal pancake recipe, but with buffalo worm powder. I don't, I don't ever have a craving for buffalo worms in my pancakes. Yeah, I don't know why you'd put buffalo worm powder in a pancake. Maybe if you're like a, a gym person, you need that extra protein in your, uh, in your pancakes. Oh, right. Got to get like, hench. I like protein fortified pancakes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm mo most excited about these because they look like American pancakes and I'm only really used to making crepe thin British type pancakes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. To the kitchen. <laughs> what should we do first then, Will? We probably need to get the ingredients now. You will need flour, sugar, milk, eggs. The following are provided in the kit. Vanilla bean paste, baking powder, cinnamon, and buffalo worm powder. So first steps first, we're going to add 225 grams of the flour. Go for it, William. All of the buffalo worm powder. Mm. Oh no, well it says 30 grams, which I assume would be the amount that's in the bag. Just looks like brown sugar. Yeah. Doesn't really seem that sweet. Can't really smell anything though. No, I can just smell the truffle oil that spilled from the last one. What's next? Next, we're going to add 10 grams of baking powder. Again, pre-weighed. Perfect. Seems like a lot of baking powder. Cinnamon. And then you'll need four tablespoons of sugar. Four. Perfect. Just gonna add a stir. I'm just, mm -hmm. <laughs> just gonna stir together my dry ingredients before adding the wet ingredients. Now for the wet ingredients, I've got to add vanilla bean paste. Which is also provided. Oh, that's thick. Yeah. How much milk do we need? Well, William, we need, I can't see it, 260 mils of milk, so we need the measuring jug. Last but not least, we're going to add two eggs. Do you want to crack one and I'll crack one? Sure. Oh, mine cracked. <laughs> <laughs> I've cracked it. Whoa, I've never seen that before. And then you just whisk them all together. Looks a bit brown. Yeah, I can't really tell if it's the mealworms or the cinnamon that I've made it brown. I'm gonna tell myself it's a cinnamon. Yeah, it's a lo <laughs> lovely cinnamon pancake. Yeah. Yeah, everything's combined now, so I think we're ready to start flipping. Nice. Next, we're gonna oil up the pan. So, once our oil's heated up enough, we're going to add, it says one ladle, but we don't have ladles, so I'm just going to pour it in. It sh says it should make about six pancakes, which I think would make huge pancakes, so we'll see. And then, yeah, we'll get flipping. Let's get flipping. <laughs> wow. That's a big boy. I'm going big or going home. So the recipe says, wait for the pancake to start to bubble, and then, well not bubble, but you can see bubbles. And then flip it over, and it should be cooked on the other side. That is huge. Yeah. So you can see here now that it's starting to bubble. It's starting to go a bit matte as well, which is a tell sign with thinner pancakes. I'm gonna hope that it's ready to flip. We're gonna go for the flip. Be careful. I'm careful, don't you? Oh my god. Wow. Ooh. Golden brown. <laughs> First one's always a test one. I feel like that's a pretty good test one. Yeah. Beautiful. Look how thick it is. Maybe a little bit. The middle is almost burnt, but not quite. Right. Sure. I think it's about done now. Okay. Shows the underside. Good? Yeah. Riddle? It's <laughs> so solid. Perfect. One done. 
on to the next one. Well, you can do your own pancake. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Oh. It's just as big. Yours is probably bigger than mine. God, I can't measure out these pancakes though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for the flip. Oh, oh no. no! A little burnt, maybe. Oh. It smells really good though. Yeah, it should be alright then. So we've got our lovely <laughs> mealworm pancakes. They smell really nice. They're so solid. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a... I feel like... like look at that! <laughs> yeah, they are a bit huge. Yeah. They did make them a bit big. <laughs> I don't think I've had an American pancake in ages. <laughs> I can't get the topper. <laughs> Got it. What? My fingers must be sweating. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got maple syrup as a topping. Our tiny little, tiny little bottle. Little bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Yeah. Now will we actually be able to taste buffalo? No. What are they called? The flow mealworms. Cheers, Will. Cheers. I feel like you can taste mm. the mealworms. I was thinking, oh, this is just gonna cover it up completely, but then um, there's definitely something. I mean, they're not bad. It's got a, it's got a bit of a savoury quality to it. It's like buckwheat pancakes. Mm. I mean, they're better than the crickets, I think. Like if you're trying to for trying to hide bugs. Yeah, definitely. If it's, yeah, if you're concerned about where you're getting your protein from, I'd say this is probably like a, quite a good alternative. I don't know if people who are concerned with get, where they're getting their protein from are eating pancakes, but. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So what's your rating, Will? I think it, I think it's definitely like a, an eight. An eight, you'd have it again then? Yeah. I'd put it like a six. But then, they are pancakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like it's easier to hide them in sweeter things. Yeah, I think that concludes our sort of little investigation into the book meal kit. Yeah, I think so. I think overall it's a pass. Yeah. It's an interesting concept, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Let us know if there's any other wacky meals or ingredients you want us to try. That's all for this week. See you in another one. Cheers.